This lesson is proving that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. And the goal is to determine whether or not a quadrilater quadrilateral is a parallelogram. The standards are geometry, congruence number 11, and geometry, similarity, right triangles, trig number 5. What you should understand by the end of this lesson is that you can decide if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if its sides, angles, and diagonals have certain properties. One theorem for proving a quadrilateral is a parallelogram is if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. If they are, then a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So, if these, that pair of sides is congruent and that pair of sides is congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. All right, we are asked to find the value of x that makes this quadrilateral FGHI a parallelogram. That means we need to find a value for x that makes both of those sides the same length. So we have to make them equal to each other. So I'm going to put 2x equals x plus 26. I subtract 1x from both sides. I get x equals 26. So that was pretty easy. If x was 26, then that would make them congruent. So 2 times 26 is 52. 26 plus 26 is 52. That would make the, both sides 52. And that, those, that would make those sides congruent. In your first practice problem, you are asked to find the value of C that makes quadrilateral RSTU a parallelogram. The next theor theorem for proving a quadrilateral is a parallelogram is that if an angle of a quadrilateral is supplementary to both of its consecutive angles, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Remember, supplementary means 180 degrees. So if we're looking at angle B, if we add it to angle A or we add it to angle C and they equal 180, then we know that it is a parallelogram. Or ask, can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? So I have this angle and these two consecutive angles and I have 108 plus 72 which equals 180 and again I have 172 or 72 plus 108 which also equals 180 so these angles are supplementary which means that this is a parallelogram. Your practice too. Your question is, can you show that this quadrilater quadrilateral is a parallelogram? The next theorem for proving a quadrilateral is a parallelogram is that if both pairs of opposite angles of a quadrilateral are congruent, it's those two and those two, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So if angle A is congruent to angle C and angle B is congruent to angle D, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. I'm asked, can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? We have opposite angles that are 108. We also had already found out that these angles and these angles are supplementary. So yes, this we can prove once again that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. 
Your practice three problem is can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? Your practice four, find the value of A that makes quadrilateral STUV a parallelogram. That means that these opposite angles would need to be equal to each other. The final theorem for proving that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram says that if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Remember that if a the two diagonals cut each other's, that means completely in half or exactly in half, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So our center point is point E, and line, this line is cut exactly in half. So line segment BE is the same length as line segment DE. And line segment AE is exactly the same length as line segment CE. The question asks, can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? I have these two diagonals that intersects. This is 52 and this is only 48. This is 52, this is only 48. These lines are not congruent. These line segments are not congruent. So I cannot prove or I know that this quadrilateral is not a parallelogram. Your practice five, can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? And your final practice six problem, can you show that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? So this lesson we've looked at ways to prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Do you understand those ways? Do you sort of get it or got this? Or you're so good you could teach this? Then go get on IXL and get a 100, master that lesson on IXL. If not, get an, a 90 or better and get your actual grade, master it, and get a 100. Good luck. And that's the end of our lesson. Bye.